Hello, I just purchased the Trunk CX-1 through all the steps I did to get it working because it doesn't work 100% when you get it, build it from the kit Okay, the glass plate, there are screws underneath it and if you put the paper clip on it will make the uh, glass plate warp um, so I put two bits of leftover credit cards there so that uh, the, the paper clips are sort of above the screws so um, it doesn't warp that's okay pa the credit cards are good good width good height And I've left the little cable there at the end of the strap there. I didn't cut that off so that I have something to pull out the model with. Um, it's just some little convenience. Okay, the wheels on this thing is wobbly. Um, I put some sticky tape there on the wheel and just wrapped it around and rolled it around until uh, it, it got some grip and it wasn't wobbling anymore and uh, yes yeah, the same with the wheel at the bottom it seems sticky tape is good because you can adjust the width easily and the uh, um, the little uh, steel rod here is gonna make a squeaky noise so if you don't put oil on it so I put oil on it and there's a bit at the bottom here this little plastic bit it doesn't the the one that came with the uh, kit doesn't fit and the one that I printed out from Thingiverse isn't perfect but what I've done is I've put a little bit of leftover plastic there to make it fit it, it comes with a lot of leftover screws and plastic bits the kit, at least my kit anyway that's okay now and the extruder uh, the filament doesn't fit through the cable it um, the you have to get a screwdriver in there to push the filament in through through the little hole and on top of that um, you have to unscrew this little uh, tube here to put the filament through the tube or else it just won't fit and maybe because of that it, uh, the extruder needs a good grip and the spring just isn't good enough to get that grip so I put the, a paper clip uh, a reversed paper clip just has extra strength to hold that in to get um, the grip on the motor and the wheel there because um, it needs a, lo a lot of strength just to pull it through and to pull it through the out of the spool when you first print things you might get lumps like this uh, lumps are bad because uh, when they dry up and the printer nozzle goes over them again it will hit the lump and it will knock the model off the plate and that will be the end of the print you can't do anything after that um, so to fix that up I just change the restart um, value in the um, settings, the printer settings 
you can see I've changed it to minus 0 point something and 0 0.6 I've got it currently and you can see some result this first one is a restart value of minus 0 0.4 and the second one here is a restart of minus 0 0.8 and what the restart does is when when the nozzle restarts squ squirting the plastic um, it will uh, pull uh, push back the same amount of um, plastic as it pulled out but uh, if you put a minus value there it will say don't don't push back as much just push push back a, a little bit of less plastic uh, if you're connecting it to a PC with repetir you have to change the bold rate um, to the same bold rate as the printer mine was one one five two zero zero um, I haven't had to change any bold rates to anything since the 1990s so this is kind of old. <laughs>